So as you probably know, I've broken my back and my wrist. Um, I broke it on the 2nd of November. Today's date is the 13th of December. So over a month, I've been stuck in this house. I literally go from my bed to my office, probably to have a bath, and then back to bed. And also the front door, because I order a lot of takeaways. So yeah, literally bed, office, bath, front door, back to bed. And it's been like that for an entire month. Um, and apart from annoying my girlfriend, which... I do on purpose because it's a bit of enjoyment and fun, <laughs> which is cruel. Um, I spend a lot of time trading with the BD members. So every single morning, I will have a trading session with the BD members. 7 a.m., don't be late. Early trader catches the early pips, I say. Um, we've had a trading session today. As you can see here, these are my results for today. We had a loss on USD Chef, but yeah, you know, nice little, nice little trading session. Um, and I, I, like I said, I'm transparent with all of my trades. So every single morning, we'll have a trading session with the BD members. I'll show my results for the day, results for the week. And, and yeah, I mean, probably if you just have a quick look at the photo somewhere, uh, you'll see all of my trading results, um, all from last week, probably. Let me try and find you the last one. Um, da -da 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 -da. Oh, here we go, here. So this would have been... Yeah, so this was last week, okay, 6th of December, 6th to the 7th, so yeah, that was last week, okay, uh, last week's results. But yes, uh, let's go back to charts. So yes, because I've been spending a lot of time with the BD members, I have noticed a big difference between them and me. Now, apart from the very famous word emotion, trading with emotion, when I'm actually with the BD members, I see that quite significantly because when I do my trading, I'm not trading with emotion. I'm not trading, you know, out of fear or panic. I'm making calculated decisions. So I look at the chart, I look for a Mogwai signal, I'll look at the price action around it, and I'll execute the trade. If the trade is going against me, I'll close it off in a loss, or if it's going in my favor, you know, I'll push it and get more and more pips. And even though I'm having trading session with the BD members, you know, and they're sharing their setups, I'm sharing my setups, I'm sharing where I'm entering, I can see a lot of traders are trading out of fear. You know, they're worried because a trade perhaps is going against them or it's pulling back or it's going into their favor and they're closing it off early. I'm sure you've done it because I've done it before where so many traders will hold on to losing trades and then close a trade off really early. So you'll let a trade go maybe 50 or 100 pips in drawdown. As soon as it goes back to maybe five pips in profit, you close it early. And then you sit there and watch the trade go off to 100 pips. And yeah, you know, over the last month, it's I've seen it such significantly, you know, the big difference between the way I trade, you know, we're just trading the binary destroyer, that is literally it, right? Simple, binary destroyer with some price action and there's such a big difference between the way I trade with my calculated decisions and the way somebody else trades exactly the same strategy but based off emotion so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to find a setup for you and I'm going to take a trade now um, and we're going to break it down okay based off my experience and calculate decisions and see how I take my trade, you know, my reasoning behind it. Now, I'm gonna give it probably half an hour before I do some trading because we've had this big news happen across across a lot of currency pairs. You see this big spike? Um, so I'm just gonna wait for the market to slow down a bit, um, recorrect itself, and then I'll press play again on the video. We'll take a trade, um, and yeah, uh, I'll see you very, very shortly. Oh, oh, where's my webcam? Here we go. This is gonna be an interesting trade. So I'm gonna tra take a trade now on US 30, okay? Uh, I'm just gonna load up US, well, I'm gonna US 30. I'm gonna take two trades, um, both with two lots. So enter there and there. Now, first of all, okay, let's break down what I see on US 30. And like I said, I'm not trading with emotion. I'm gonna base all of my decisions off calculated decisions and experience, right? So why did I take a trade on US 30? Okay, first of all, you've got this random spike like this. Obviously, news has happened. Price has now create, uh, corrected itself, and we've got a typical Mogwai strategy. MACD's gone over, sold. We've just crossed over, Mogwai signal, and price is above the TCA line. Okay, it's great. Okay, we've got a Mogwai signal. But 
Is this it with the trend? Is it against the trend? I mean, what's the bigger picture? So let's now go from the one minute to the 15 and let's have a look. Okay. On the 15 minute, I can't see anything. I just see this massive gap here. I can see that we're in an uptrend. So maybe we're with the trend. Who knows? So from the 15, because I can't see anything at the minute, I'm going to go to the one hour. Okay. On the one hour, again, I can't really see anything. I know we're in a big, bullish momentum so again potentially with the trend right let's have a look at the four hour okay now four hours starting to make sense i can see some structure on my charts okay i can see a level just here okay so what's actually happened or uh, let me just pause the video for a okay i need to load up my chart and software okay so previous structure we can see that we've now established it it's on the four hour price has come down pulled back come down pull back, come down. Typical downtrend momentum, yeah? Then it's found this level here, perhaps where institutionals decided it wanted to buy it. Then it came back up, then it came back down, and then whack. We've now created a new high in the market. So all these people that were selling here would have got stopped out, yeah? Quite obvious because everyone would have sold down here. It's irrelevant, it's happened. It's, it's not what's happening now, okay? What's happening now is that we've created a new high in the market, okay? There's the previous high. Down here is the previous low, okay? You understand that? Previous low, previous high. We've now broken that high and we've actually come back down and retouched that structure if you look left here you can see the structure we come back left it looks like we're going to do something like this here new high come back down retouch it maybe that's what i see so maybe this is a nice little signal with the trend can you actually see how simple it is here we go here okay you can actually see it now on the uh on the daily time frame this uptrend movement so we had uptrend pull back 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 uptrend okay we've spiked up into this range it has created a new high because if i just zoom all the way in here you can see here um you can see here that we spiked right into this level there's the high there and the previous high was there so new high has been formed we are potentially going higher now i'm not interested in a big move like i said i'm not trading the daily or the four hour i'm not interested in a big swing trade move but when i go back to the one minute i know that there's going to be a lot of buying pressure okay let me just load up the buy uh, binary show again okay i know hold on here we just spiked up here I know there's a lot of buying pressure at this level, okay? So I know a lot of buyers are going to start to push price up. Now, price should, or this trade should already be in the money, okay? There you go. Quite nice and simple. Now, in terms of stop losses and take profit, I'm going to put my stop loss uh, below the arrow, okay? Obviously, um, pips work slightly different with US 30, but my stop loss is going to be below this level here, somewhere around here, and my target is going to be a one to one or one to two. I'll probably go for one to one. The reason being is because of this move here big spike in the market, big volatility, uh, and there's uncertainty. And I don't particularly want to hold trades for long periods of time, especially with, you know, something like this happening. So what I want to be is in and out in the market. I don't want to be exposing myself to any more news like this here. Um, and that's based off calculated decisions. You know, I'm not looking to hold long period, uh, hold this trade for long periods of time because it's not the right market condition for that. It is literally get your pips and get out. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. I'll come back in maybe two or three. Well, I'll come back once this trade does something. Uh, but yeah, I'll come back very, very shortly. Okay, so update on this trade with US 30. So you notice I've took two trades now, okay? The reason why I took two trades is because um, as the trade starts to go into profit now, I will reduce my risk and lock in so profit. So I'll give you an example of the trade here, right? It's gone nicely into profit. It's doing exactly what I want it to do. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close off one of these trades. Now, the reason why I've done that is, like I said, I've locked in profits. I had risk on the table now, and I've reduced that risk. I've locked in some profits. And what I have, whatever happens now, I've made profit on this trade. Now, what I can do is start to move my stop loss to break even to make a trade risk free. Now, this is to do with trade management. OK, there's a lot of things you can do in this situation. You can take one big trade and use a trailing stop loss. You can take one 
one trade and perhaps close off a percentage of the trade. You know, what I tend to do is I take two trades uh, and it gives me more control on how I manage them. Some trades I'll let to go 5, 10 pips and then some trades I'll let go 20 to 30 pips. So I have different take profit levels. As you can see now, the trade's starting to pull back. You see how it's reducing profit, okay? You can see how it's coming back down. Now, I, I don't need to worry at the money. It's just a pullback happening in the market. Um, we're still above the TCA line. The TCA line still turned green. So again, you know, there's nothing to worry about it. It's part of trading. I've locked in some profits already. Um, and yeah, like I said, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, and yeah, get, again, like I said, I'll give you an update on this trade. What I'll actually do is I'll actually set a take profit. Um, it's currently 18 pips. So let's set a take profit of... 50 pips. Okay, so we'll set a take profit of 50 pips. Again, I haven't actually set a stop loss. And the reason being is because I'll sit there and monitor it. Okay, what I don't want to happen is for price to come da down like, oh, I'll make that white so you can see. What I don't want to happen is price to come down, stop me out and then reverse again. Okay, and being took out by my spread. Um, so yeah, that's an update on US 30 and I'll come back very, very shortly. Literally, the moment I ended this video or paused the video, the trade hit take profit. And again, typically because of the spread of just how volatile US 30 is, especially at this given time with market volatility. Uh, but yeah, give an example here of the trade. You can see here, two trades locked into profit. Um, obviously that was set at 50 pips. So first one hit 50 pips nicely. The second one was around maybe 40, 45 pips. Um, but yeah, there you go there. Nice little £140. It was nothing special, but just a breakdown of US 30. And this is what I want you to take note now of is that I'm in, I'm out of the trade. Okay, I'm not exposing myself now to any more market manipulation. You know, if I was in a swing trade move, then yeah, I would be. You know, I'd be holding trades for long periods of time. But given how volatile, uh, volatile the market is at the minute, I mean, look at these gaps in the market. You know, I mean, look at USD CAD. Big spike down. Look at gold. I mean, gold literally spiked up here. Uh, Euro USD, again, big, you know, it's just the wrong time to be trading. But yes, that is a breakdown of US 30. Hope you enjoyed today's video. My name is Jamie Palmer.